Hi everybody, this is Janet Wright and this video serves two purposes. One, it's a recap video for, mm, for the 13th of May 2018, uh, the Family Boundaries, Healthy Family Boundaries triplet set of May 2018, uh, because these are the actual techniques that I used on people, uh, some of them, uh, in the healing. Uh, but it's a good standalone walkthrough video that you can use again and again whenever you want. Um, and I do say again and again because uh, what you do with this and, and you know, whenever you use any kind of energy clearing, uh, just have the intention that you're going to do what is healthy and gentle for you to clear at this time. So that way you know you're not doing too much. The theme of the healing was to have strong energy boundaries with family members and beings and entities. Beings and entities, you know, just like those are words for like a being and an entity is the same thing. It's just different people understand it in different ways. So a being or a little spirit or an entity, some little spirit that, you know, is in your space, doesn't belong there. The reason I lumped those two together, like boundaries with family members and also boundaries with beings, uh, well, First of all, those are like the two biggies sometimes that people have issues with, but also too, like, um, everybody has beings in their space accidentally, you know, not on purpose. And so if you really want boundaries with someone, you're going to need boundaries with their beings too. And, you know, also, of course, it's always good to have so much strength and flow that you don't really have an issue even with beings in your own space, not a significant issue. I think it's impossible I mean, maybe someday I'll figure it out, in which case I'll be sure to make a video for you, but it may be impossible to have zero beings in your space. Because um, if I think like even the Dalai Lama, I can find some beings in his space <laughs> that he doesn't want there. So, yeah. Yeah, and this other like, you know, great biggie person, spiritual biggie person, you know, so. I think that you're always gonna have some beings in your space, but the idea of owning your space and being non-resistant is so that you, you're really large and in charge, you know? And so you maybe on a regular basis clear out some beings when you notice them, but it's not a huge problem for you, okay? So that's what we're working towards. And non-resistance is what I saw was necessary for, um, for people, one of the big things that was necessary for people, specifically clearing resistance to family members and resistance to beings and entities. Uh, because you can have like this negative sort of phobic, resistant, stressed out attitude towards either a person in your life or you know the beings and entities that they may have or that you have in your space. And you're actually, I mean, I know it doesn't seem fair you know, but energy work doesn't, it's not at all fair. You know, it's more ironic. So the irony is the more you resist something, you're actually totally ruining your boundaries. <laughs> so if you really resist beings in your space, that means you have like this many boundaries, zero, you know, um, which, you know, is not fair. I get that, but that's the way it works. So the more you're like, oh my God, I have these beings, the more you're just screwed. So we're not going to be like that. We are going to be non-resistant. We're going to clear our resistance so that we can just be large and in charge and get on with our day, get on with our life, sleep well, and be happy. Woo! <laughs> okay, so let's get to work. Um, so what we're going to do is um, stacking and clearing. It's so easy. And we're going to do it for general flow and presence also. I always like to throw that in there because um, sometimes people are triggered for a different reason and they may not even know why they're triggered and that'll get in the way of working what you want to work, which is in this case, you know, uh, clearing resistance to beings and clearing resistance to family members. So we're going to throw in that catch all general presence and flow also in case there's some issue that you know about or you don't know about that is preoccupying your spirit. So we're gonna just basically unblock. <laughs> General unblocking and then also in those specific ways. Okay, so let's first do a, uh, like a one color earth energy soak. So if you want more about that, 
you know, there's a whole playlist that does a lot of that called Quick Flow. And there's a specific six minute video called Tricolor Earth Energy Soak, uh, which is good for it too. Tricolor Earth Energy Soak. But anyway, so think about how wide your aura is. Mine is, you know, off the camera, but you know, it should be maybe two feet all the way around you. And if you feel like it's too smushed in, just kind of push it out a little with your intentions, particularly in back. You want to take up a lot of space behind you and kind of own that. And in front of you and underneath your body too. You want to have that uh, actually poofed out too. Because you really, you don't want like a cramped up aura underneath you. Because your aura goes underneath you and it's really important to have that flowing. So go ahead and push out your aura underneath you so that it's nice and, you know, a good two feet that way. A good two feet above you in all directions, okay? We're going to really take up space. And... Um, I mean comfortably so. If you feel like one and a half feet is, is what's comfortable for you, that's okay too. But that you get the point. You know, you don't wanna you don't wanna cramp yourself and because it's just not necessary. Okay. And uh, and it doesn't matter if you're sitting next to somebody, like your aura is not gonna get into them if you think of it as okay, I'm just expanding my aura. You know? Okay. So you have your aura, you poofed it out, and now uh, redo your grounding. Make it red or orange or yellow. And grounding is, um, I recommend it not as a, a little skinny rope, but um, as a, a very wide energy connection that you make that's as wide as your whole aura. It's as high up as your third chakra, and then it goes all the way down to the core of the earth, okay? So it's this wide all the way around you going down to the core of the earth, okay? Red or orange or yellow. I'm gonna make mine orange. Ah, so that's grounding and you can just maybe take a deep breath and just think about letting go. I can let go. Because that's one of the best things about grounding is it allows drainage, allows things to release that need to release. They go down to the core of the earth, presume it, assuming that your grounding is flowing and then uh, it just goes back to where it belongs. So if you may need to recreate your grounding sometimes, you know, particularly if you're getting a triplet healing, you maybe recreate it like three times a day, but I think really just on any day, you would be good to do that. And that just takes a second, okay? And so that's grounding. And then an earth energy soak is you just use your grounding like a straw and bring up earth energy, um, which is easy, you just, I mean, it's hard if you make it hard, but it's it's not naturally hard. You know, you just imagine the, in my case, orange earth energy, but red or orange or yellow earth energy being drawn up from the core of the earth at the color that you want and just bring it up, 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 all the way up and soak your whole body, your aura, even the top of your aura and just leave it up there. So have it still stay up as high as the top of your aura and just soak in it. Okay, and that's a one color earth energy soak. And again, some deep breaths are nice. You can think about receiving and you can think about letting go. So I'm gonna leave mine up there. Um, and you can leave it up all the time if you want. It's not a problem. Uh, you could also uh, bring it back down to the height of your third chakra if you wish, okay? Um, all right, so now the stacking and clearing. What we, the reason we did that grounding first is just so you can release better. Um, and if you get uh, sleepy or confused at any point or cranky, uh, just redo your grounding. Your grounding probably got blocked and clogged and it then stopped working. So you just imagine destroying the old one and making a new one that's nice and flowing like a waterfall, okay? So first, let's do general flow and presence. Um, think, uh, put out in front of you, just with your intention, five to 10 energy blocks that are in your energy field anywhere, your body, your mind, your spirit, somewhere, um, that are in the way of your general flow and presence. So um, just imagine putting them out in front of you. You don't, it doesn't matter originally where they are, they could be somewhere different places in your aura and your chakras and your grounding. But you just put five to 10 out in front of you that are healthy and gentle for you to clear right now, just of whatever's in the way of making you comfortable. 
you know, what's making you uncomfortable? What energy blocks? And just put them out in front of you just as much as it's healthy and gentle to clear right now. And bring up red earth energy. That's the first step. Soak them all in the red earth energy. Just soak them. And that's real easy, calming, and it helps you start to separate from the blocked energy, which is great. And then step two is you just melt away the energy cords that are going into those energy blocks. Likely there are some energy cords from you or from other people going into these pieces of blocked energy. So again, you're imagining the energy blocks like bricks, bricks or rocks or sticks or something hard, right? And then the, the lines of light going into them, that's the cords. So you just use gold light that melts away all those cords. And that's just with your imagination or your intention. You don't have to see energy because clairvoyance, which is seeing energy, um, tends to develop after, after you've been working energy for quite a while. So just imagine or think at this point. Okay, so you used gold light from your hands. It comes out of your palm, the palm of your hand, your hand chakra or your fingertip chakras, right? Or if you don't like that, make a garden hose, you know, that that shoots out gold healing energy and just use that to melt away the cords, okay? Or like gold suns or gold soap or gold water. But anyway, okay, so now there are no cords and it's soaked in the red earth energy. Now you can just blow them up if you want or you could move out of resistance. So you could think of like that there's your part of you is the glue holding these energy blocks all this time in your space and you want to kind of shift that part of you that's being the glue into being the flow so you shift out of resistance move out of resistance so just imagine the part of you that's being the glue and just kind of talk yourself into hey i don't have to do that i can let go i can be flowing i don't have to be the glue i can be the flow there you go and they all clear the reason i prefer that to blowing up is because blowing up is does work you know but if you shift out of resistance it creates a nice big ripple effect and other energy blocks clear in other places in your energy field too. So that's good that you weren't even trying to clear. Okay. So if you still don't feel comfortable, like say you have a lot going on, you could pause the video and do another couple sets of that. Just whatever's bothering you these days, just make energy blocks. Like, um, one fun one is like, if you've had nightmares, you know, or like weird, unpleasant dreams, usually that's just energy blocks that your body, your physical body's been having trouble clearing and your brain turns them into a story as you sleep. So let's just do that. Energy blocks that are creating uh, bad dreams, either about family members and beings or, you know, whatever, you know, just energy blocks from the, uh, that generate bad dreams for you these days, okay? And just stack out the energy blocks, bring up the red earth energy, Soak them in that. Use the gold light to melt away the energy cords. And then either blow them up or move out of resistance. So think about the part of you that's being the glue and then just be the flow. Don't be the glue, be the flow. There you go. So you might need to do that more and more, uh, but you could pause the video if you want and do that. Um, and again, what we had just done right there was energy blocks that were creating uh, nightmares or I call them body dreams, but like unpleasant body dreams. Okay, great. Um, so now let's do um, clear resistance to uh, family members. And yeah, let's combo it. Family members and beings. Uh, so obviously family members are human being spirits. Beings or spirits or entities, those are not human being spirits. They're just little bothersome little spirits. But that's fine, we can do it all at once. So any resistance that you have towards specific family members and or beings, um, just pick five to 10 energy blocks that are healthy and gentle for you to clear right now that make you resist those, uh, either those people or beings. Um, and just line up those energy blocks out in front of you. And if that weirds you out, you wanna do just family or resistance to just beings, that's fine too, but I'm gonna do a combo just because I think it's more efficient. So five to 10 energy blocks out in front of you and you don't have to see them, just imagine. And then bring up the red earth energy, soak them in the red earth energy. And then gold light 
from your hands or from a garden hose and you're gonna melt away the cords going into them from you or other people, you don't worry about who. There you go, and once you've melted away the cords, go ahead and either blow them up or move out of resistance. So think about instead of being the glue, you wanna be the flow. I don't need to be the glue anymore, I can be the flow. Maybe a deep breath would help too. Be the flow, you can let go, you can be the flow. There you go. So if you have any leftover, just ask your angels. Angels, can you help me clear those? And they will. Angels like that you tried, you know? If you just say, oh, angels fix, fix everything, they might be like, really? You can't do it. <laughs> but if you try and you just have a little leftovers and they're not going, then yeah, your angels are fine with stepping in at that point. All right, great. Uh, let's do one more, okay? Uh, so again, uh, just a bunch of energy blocks out in front of you, uh, five to 10 maybe, um, or a different number, that's fine too. Just whatever, blocked energy. It can be even uh, like a dumpster, like a mega gold dumpster out in front of you. Just imagine a gold dumpster, like a big metal box, you know, big giant metal box, and just put what only what's healthy and gentle though, but any energy blocks that make you resist beings or family members, you know, and just load them up in your gold dumpster and uh, put and fill it up out in front of you as much as health is healthy and gentle for you to clear right now. And again, you could, uh, well, let's, you know, ground the dumpster with red earth energy, bring up red earth energy and soak your gold dumpster or your gold metal box with red earth energy and then gold light. Just make sure there are no energy cords going into your gold dumpster from you or other people. And then now you can blow up your dumpster. You can set your dumpster on fire with gold light and melt it away. Or you could um, move out of resistance. And that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to think about that I, part of me subconsciously was the glue holding all these energy blocks in place. And I'm going to be the flow. Instead of being the glue, I want to be the flow. Ah, there we go. So my gold dumpster is empty now, which is nice. Um, I think I'm gonna blow up my gold dumpster. Yeah, but you could give it back to your angels, you know, if you don't wanna blow up like a giant metal box. <laughs> and if you have any leftovers, like I said, just say, angels, can you please get rid of that for me? All right, good. So let's just do a quick uh, one color earth energy soak again. Just uh, pick a different color if you want or the same color. Think about how wide your aura is, make it that wide. Bring your grounding up as high as your third chakra and all the way down to the core of the earth. And again, let your aura take up room, you know, expand it below you to the sides, to the back, up top, in the front. Take up space. I'm gonna make a yellow grounding this time. And just imagine with your intention, you're fastening it down to the core of the earth. And it comes up all the way to your third chakra, right below your sternum bone. So that's grounding, right? And you can think about letting go, take a deep breath. And then uh, just do a one color earth energy soak. Use that grounding like a straw and bring up earth energy, that color from the core of the earth all the way up, 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 up. And soak your whole energy system, your aura, your body, your chakras, your body, mind, spirit, everything in the yellow earth energy or red or orange. Ah, just take a deep breath. Think about receiving, think about letting go. All right, great job guys. You just use stacking and clearing energy blocks technique to, uh, to clear energy blocks that were making you resistant to beings and or family members and also clear energy blocks um, that were just making you, um, you know, affecting your general presence and flow or, you know, in general making you uncomfortable. So I uh, hope you enjoyed this. And, um, you know, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to post below. And if you feel like other people should see this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up. Okay, thank you. Bye.